in the last class we saw what is antenna as well as we have seen how can we convert any dimension into the form of wavelength because in the case of antenna microwave and transmission line i always say the dimensions are given in terms of wavelength then what what is antenna antenna is nothing but it's a metallic structure which can radiate or receive the electromagnetic wave or radio waves remember that your antenna works as a transducer also which converts vi wave into the form of eh wave okay so in this lecture uh, we will study how how can we make an antenna with the help of transmission line what is transmission line transmission line is a two conductor system and it guides the energy into the form of uh, voltage and current wave okay along its length okay you can see uh, from this structure this is the transmission line this is one conductor this is another conductor and it is connected with excitation but at second end is open circuited open circuited means uh, the impedance will be infinite okay there is a parameter uh, with associated with transmission line that is characteristic impedance okay characteristic impedance depends on the character of the transmission line okay so what are the basic character of the transmission line r l g c they are the primary constant of the transmission line from uh, after looking this structure i can say uh, i can say this is nothing but it's a open ended transmission line remember that transmission line is nothing but it's a guiding structure and the guidance of the wave is possible when s is very very less than lambda with this condition is known as spatial balance condition okay at load this this end is known as load end this end is known as source end okay you can see from the figure the characteristic impedance is z not and load impedance is infinite there is larger mismatch between the impedance of the line and load impedance so there is a term that is known as uh, that is known as reflection coefficient uh, at load end which is given by zl minus z not over zl plus z not in reality what is the definition of reflection coefficient reflection coefficient is nothing but it's a ratio of uh, reflected wave to incident wave and value of zl is infinite we we do some mathematics and zl we get is equal to 1 zl is equal to 1 what is the meaning of this one meaning of this one is nothing but whatever the energy which is coming from the source is completely reflected back then i can say this structure has trapped all the energy means it behaves like a resonator okay in okay so if this structure is if this structure is uh, ha has trapped all the energy it means that i can say this structure does not exhibit any radiation okay so one another thing we say this is nothing but excitation and excitation is subjected with frequency that frequency is known as operating frequency and how can we calculate the operating wavelength lambda the well known equation that is c is equal to frequency into lambda with the help of this equation we can calculate operating wavelength okay so so far we have find we have found that the open ended transmission line does not exhibit any radiation now i want to make antenna with the help of transmission line look at this structure okay yeah in this structure this is also the example of open ended transmission line in this structure i have flared the structure i have flared these two conductors what will happen actually whenever we do 
flaring the characteristic impedance of the transmission line at every point will change okay at every point the characteristic impedance of the transmission line is changing so can i say this section of the transmission line is uh, changing the characteristic impedance transforming the characteristic impedance then i can say this this portion of the transmission line is behaving as a impedance transformer ba basically it is transforming the impedance okay uh, if we flare the structure the capacitance of the transmission line will change because capacitance depends on the distance between between the conductors before it you can see the spacing between these two conductor is uniform okay and from here we can say uh, this structure from source to here this structure is nothing but it's a guiding structure okay because it is guiding the energy along its length one more thing you can observe the electric field is start from one conductor and terminated to another conductor but it is perpendicular it is perpendicular to the both conductor and you can see here again electric field is start from one conductor and terminated to another conductor at the end at the end it may be possible the characteristic impedance of the transmission line matches with the characteristic impedance of the or oh sorry intrinsic impedance of the free space whenever intrinsic impedance matches with the characteristic impedance of the transmission line then what will happen the all the energy whatever exists here will be transferred to the free space means this structure will behave like a antenna okay how can how can uh, how can we make antenna from the transmission line the key point is flaring of the structure whenever we flare the structure the characteristic impedance at every point will at every point will change okay at this end the characteristic impedance may be equal to the uh, free uh, free space impedance and whenever this condition you get then energy which is inside of the transmission line will be transferred to the free space this is the key point okay next thing is there is another way there is another way to obtain the to obtain the uh, radiation from the transmission line how how in this you can see from this figure this is nothing but it is the example of open ended transmission line and this end is connected with source and s is known as separation between the conductor and this s is very very less than lambda this is called a special balance condition there is a there is one possibility if we disturb, disturb the special balance condition how can we disturb it if we increase the frequency if we increase the frequency from this relation you can say if you increase the frequency lambda will reduce lambda will reduce it may be possible it may be possible there is a chance you you get s is comparable to the lambda then you can say then you can say your special balance condition has been disturbed now whenever you get such kind of condition then your structure will start uh, radiating means radiation you get from the structure now your structure uh, does not uh, guide the energy along its length while it exhibit some kind of radiation so so second second technique is by increasing the frequency by increasing the operating frequency you can you can disturb the special balance condition whenever whenever you disturb the special balance condition your Uh, transmission line is start re, uh, start radiating and your uh, your transmission line become like uh, antenna so this is this is the key point by changing by changing the frequency by increasing the frequency you disturb the 
स्पेशल बैलेंस कंडीशन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फॉर दिस लेक्चर इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी द रेडिएशन मैकेनिज्म इफ यू लाइक दिस लेक्चर देन प्लीज सब लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर इट थैंक यू वेरी मच